Hey everyone, I'm Andrew. And I'm Tiffany, and we're from the Fetch content creation team. We're here today to teach you how to use the Fetch application. That's right. Today we're going to cover some of the Fetch app's main features, such as how to insert models and how to perform and sync update operations. To follow along with us, you'll first need to download the Fetch app and to make an account, which you can do here or at the link in the description. After installing Fetch, you can open the app either from your start menu or by using the button in the Revit ribbon. The first page you're greeted with is the home page. Here you'll find blog posts and news, as well as a carousel with the most recently added models and model groups. To find a family, you can either use the search bar or browse your library by clicking the folder icon. The library is divided into families and model groups. You can also browse by product types and markets. Today I'm going to be showing you industrial, popular industrial models, the pallet rack. Each family is shown as a card that reveals the family's name and image. For more information, such as included data, file name and size, and a short description, click the View Details toggle. The three-dot menu allows access to additional documentation of the project, a link to the Fetch BEM webpage, and an insert button. The star, when clicked, will add a model to your favorites page. This page will give you quick access to frequently used models, schedules, and templates available in the Fetch app. To place a model in your project, you will first have to search your desired family here on the search bar. And then, once it's found, you can click the image and insert. Fetch will display a toast notification to state that the model is loading. Once the model is loaded, you can click anywhere on your project and place it. We can reselect, hit the spacebar on your keyboard, and rotate it as I'm doing here. Once the model is placed, you can access the various options of this family. But first, let's move over to the 3D view by clicking here. And now we could select the family once again and head over to the properties window. Here you'll find options to customize the family to fit your needs. For this particular pallet rack, I can adjust the number of shelves. So let's bring this up to four and hit apply. I can also alter the construction and make this unit double-sided by clicking here and applying. Continuing down, I can also see that I could edit the width, the depth, and the height within the manufacturer's specs. And by clicking this edit type button, an edit type window will show up with all the standard dimensions. So make sure to go through this. Back to the properties section. We could bring this width up to 300 inches and apply. I can retrieve the latest data on the product from the Fetch database by syncing. I could sync in two ways. I could go back to the Fetch app. Here on the bottom left, there's a sync button and we could click there. Or we could head to the Fetch tab on the Revit ribbon on the far left and we could click the button there. Once the sync is complete, you will see a small dialog window pop up. And you could click here and see a small window that will appear with all the updates that were done. And you could go through them. These updates usually include product codes, budgetary pricing, and other important documentation data based on the modification and options selected. And we could see how there were some updates done to this family, such as the product code. To update a Fetch family, you will first have to open up your Fetch app from the Fetch tab in the Revit ribbon. Once the app is open, you'll head to the page icon and here it'll take you to a page that shows you all the models currently loaded in your active project. We currently have just one. Now in the event that a model is updated by our content team, your Fetch app will notify you of the available updates. You will see a display of a red exclamation point on the top right corner of the family card on this page. You could update a single family by clicking on the three dot menu here where it says update. Or let's say that you had more families loaded and they needed updating all at once. 
you could select update all the families by clicking here. And that should do it. To wrap up, Fetch is a powerful Revit add-in that allows users to browse the library or easily search for models. Family cards can be favorited to ensure quick access to frequently used families. That's right. Families can be quickly placed into an open project by simply clicking on the image and clicking to place it in Revit. Families can be synced to the Fetch database to retrieve the most up-to-date product codes, budgetary pricing, and links to other important documentation. Families may also be updated from the Fetch app when major changes are published to the models. Wow, this Fetch app sounds amazing. <laughs> well, it should be. We work really hard on it. <laughs> That's all for today, folks. If you liked this video, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We'll be back soon with more Revit tips and tricks. Bye. Bye.